One of the features that patients will describe with Parkinson's disease is uh, drooling, so too much saliva or excessive saliva. In a mild case, you might see patients who say, look, I, I wake up in the morning, my pillow is very damp. Um, in the extreme cases, you'll see people who have a tissue or a handkerchief in their hand because they'll literally be drooling. And there are two reasons really for why there's drooling in Parkinson's. One is there is excess production of saliva, um, and then the other is that there's reduced amount of swallowing. So in terms of treating this symptom, sometimes it will respond to some of the Parkinson's tablets, and that's very, uh, very affirming when it happens, but it's not often. And then what we say is, okay, well, can we try and, if you like, improve the amount of swallowing that somebody has. And the simplest way to do this is to get them to suck lollies or chew gum and actually promote the swallowing itself. And that can be very effective. In terms of reducing the amount of secretions that come out, then we do have some chemicals that can do this. And you'll be familiar with the idea that some tablets can cause a dry mouth. Well, sometimes doctors will use that side effect um, to actually treat excessive saliva. And probably one of the simplest ways, which can be effective in patients, is to actually use uh, one of the inhalers that's commonly used uh, to treat bronchitis or emphysema. And there, of course, you're trying to get the drug to hit the lungs and kind of take a deep breath as you, sp you stimulate the pump. But here, what we really want to do is to sort of s use the pump and spray the aerosol of that drug to cover the back of the, uh, the throat and really hit the salivary glands and hopefully stop their secretions. And this drug is, is, is commonly used as a drug called ipratropium or atro event is a common name for it and this can be beneficial in a number of patients. If those simple approaches don't work then one of the more radical approaches for too much saliva would be the idea of paralyzing the salivary glands using botulinum toxin. So you can use botulinum toxin to paralyze the muscles of the face and get rid of the crow's feet or the wrinkles and um, you could also use it to stop the overstimulated bladder but in this instance, what we're talking about is actually injecting the salivary glands themselves and stopping them from secreting their um, juices. And this therapy can be very effective, but does come with a concern sometimes that actually there may be um, problems where it's too dry now, or you actually can weaken things like swallowing, which is sometimes impaired in Parkinson's disease, and actually even weaken the neck muscles so that patients have trouble keeping their head up. But in the right hands, this is a very reasonable approach to try for people with too much saliva uh, production with their Parkinson's.